my wife is laughing about me and that helmet. And she says, you'll never get rid of that helmet. I said, you never know. You get somebody that knows what they're looking for. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. We were hitting some garage sales this morning. This is like an every Friday thing now because yep. the perks of... Well, I always hit them every Friday, but she has been coming with me. Me coming with him has been quite the joy for him. <laughs> no, it's been like so awesome for me. My schedule is much more open right now. So I'm enjoying it. Last Friday we did find a ton of stuff. So that just means that today we're gonna, it's gonna find be a bigger a lot day. More. Yeah, we're gonna find a bunch of stuff. On Friday garage sale days, we get the kids to daycare the second the doors open. Yeah. Drop them off. We get our coffee. Ta -da! And then we are, we're on the road. So we're gonna get there at 7.40. They start at 8, I imagine. Yeah, be 20 minutes early. It's a street sale. They've got eight houses, supposedly, and pretty much guarantee somebody's going to be open. And this is usually what happens. So we'll get there 20 minutes early. We will circle for that 20 minutes. <laughs> and at 8 o'clock, if nobody is open yet, it's like, oh, go. That's what happened, like, last week. It was, like, everybody opened right at the time. And... You were like was, ready to go. You're yeah. like, oh, let's go to the next one. It was disappointing. It, was it wasn't disappointing a good one. Sale. I think I need to put that on the blacklist. Yeah, it was it was a bad neighborhood sale. I think it's time for me to find something to flip today. Ooh, okay. I think I'm gonna try to put my reseller hat on. I have a hat on. You wanna tell them about your hat? I got this, so this was after we started the channel um, Be The Village. There's a local place that's called Hope's Closet. And this is a basically like open store and open closet for um, families who take in kids who are in foster care and they can go and they can um, really shop for free all the stuff there. So it's called Hope's Closet. And we had been uh, donating items there and I saw that they had a hat that says, we are the village and I had to have it. Like it was just too perfect. It's my favorite hat. Absolutely love it. They were selling the hat, just to clarify. Oh yeah, they were selling the hat, <laughs> sorry. It donated for the kids. Like no, you, no, no, no. You paid for the hat. <laughs> you paid for the hat. <laughs> I think I paid like 20 bucks. I'm also rocking my uh, Be The Village shirt today. I'm all village. Yeah, I'm like villaged village. out. I'm like amped up, ready to go. And if you guys don't know about Whitney's channel, it basically catalogs our whole journey as foster families. Yep. But Be The Village, I'll put a link down below. Check it out. She does a really great job with it. And I see a lot of you guys in my comments and I appreciate you guys continuing to support us. It's been awesome. All right, let's go find some stuff. Ready. Good morning. How much are your cutouts? Okay. How much are your cutouts? One hundred dollars for all of them. Interesting. You can look them up if you want to. Yeah. We looked at this. Holy cow! You've got a ton of racing stuff. Oh yeah, there's some Dale Earnhardt mugs over there too. Oh yeah. I've got tubs of those, so if you're interested and you need so many of them. Of these glasses? Yes. What are you selling them for? What is it marked on there? Let's see. Well, I've got, uh, they're marked in the tub. I looked them up. One tub is, yeah. If that's 25 to 30 dollars. Yeah, but I don't know if that's, uh, let's see. You find a bird bath? Yeah. Oh, that's there's cool. couple old, uh, bowling baths in there. Okay. This, uh, you know, this is, this is the caveman glasses. Okay. Well, I didn't mark them. I just marked what they're going for. That's all right. I appreciate you pulling them out. I think I'm taking my coat collection down to the auction. Oh yeah. Downtown. Well, that'll be fun. I've been collecting since 1976. No kidding. So I put a few things out. No one's really interested. They don't want to pay you. You know. Sure. So, that was my grandson, who's now 46 years old. Oh my goodness. Bless you. I looked it up. 
Can you recognize it without knowing? <gasps> yes, it is a Magic School Bus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find a better price. No. That. It could be. How much is this hat? Uh, a dime. I'll just give you a buck to make it easier. <laughs> I was thinking a dollar anyways. Oh, was that the pen you were telling me about? No, the bowling balls are on the other side. That's cool though. Mm -hmm. How often do you find a bowling pin? Did you ever use your ceiling fan? Uh, no. no, it's brand new. Brand new in the box, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. I will buy that. Ah, you're, get, for us. <laughs> you're getting a bargain. My husband bought it and was going to put it up and never did. Oh, yeah? Good thing I'm not like that, babe. Anything I say I'm going to put up, I always put up, yeah, right? Sure you do. Yeah. Sure you do. You are a lucky woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I got a list of projects. Yeah. <laughs> I do, yep. Okay, All right, I think we're ready to settle up here. All right, so I owe 10 for that. And then just one of the hats is here. Yeah, are we paying separate? Yeah, I think you guys are all separate, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. um, nothing else? This, yeah, and then this goes to Okay, cool, her. so we owe 10, that's a dollar, yeah. 11, 13, $14. Oh yeah, $14, ma'am, there you go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then what do we give her? I think Minus this is five. Five. 15. Five, ten, twenty. We you twenty bucks. This gentleman's okay. asking. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, good luck to you too. Good luck to your sale. Thank you. Thanks for the information. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I love seeing stuff like those. Yeah, it's really cool. Good morning. Old cherry pitter. That's cool. Hey, I use this for my maid costume. Yeah. I have big hands. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that would work. Can I get them? Of course. Mm -hmm. That was just hot. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, for 50 cents, right? Yeah, he does it. Belt buckle, these are cool. All right, I think we're ready to settle up here. Okay. I've got five and three and three. It's 11. And this is 12 together. 12. Okay. Um, 12.50? Oh. 13, 13.50, 16.50. Okay. We'll just round it up to 17 to make it nice and easy. Oh, okay. You want a bag? Sure, if you got yeah, one. Yeah, that would be great. Some oh, perfect. In here. Yeah. You just wear that hat. Yeah, right <laughs> over top of mine. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. I, no, I'm getting a picture of you. Oh, that's cute. What do you that want to put it? Is it really? It? Sure. I would like this. I'm gonna get both of these. Okay. I'll set them here with her uh, sign that she picked out. Do you have any other blow molds like that? No. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, what do we owe you here? These are two a piece and this. Five bucks. Five. We, we did get off cheap, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, good luck with the sale. Thank you.
How much are your boots? Um, I want a, a size 16. Oh God, probably uh, too big for me. I only want $40 for them. 40 bucks? Yeah, I got a size 16. I traded my son for these. Here, you can pick them up. 16, holy cow. Look at the bottoms up. Talk about some tread. Yeah. Yeah, they're, I went online, they want 209, but the problem is, six people, was, it's hard to find somebody with a 16. Yeah. It's a shame. It's a big That's huge. That's cool. Have these yeah, little lighters. Yeah. yeah, these are neat. How much are your lighters? 10 a piece. 10 a piece. Yes, sir. They're cool. Little Ronson crowns. That's from 1962. I didn't see a sticker, so you can't uh, sticker shock me. It. It's 30 bucks. 30 bucks? Yeah. What about the two little pieces? Uh, th I'll buy for this. Okay. Okay. And, God, I hate 10. I was wanting 15, but $10 for this because it's so old. Okay. And still never been used. So but I don't want to give you a sticker shock on that because eBay, they want 130 And that was mine. So 45 bucks for the three. Yes, sir. And you're at 40 on the boots. Yes, sir. About 75 bucks and I'll do it all. You got it. All right. I appreciate you working with yes, me. Yes, sir. Not a problem. My wife is laughing about me and that helmet. And she says, she'll never get rid of that helmet. I said, you never know. You get somebody that knows what they're looking for. Yeah. You know, and I like old stuff. And Let me get you some more singles out of the oh, car. Okay. That's 69. I'm going to get you six oh, more dollars. Okay. okay, thank you. There you go, sir. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Uh, All right, guys, we are done sailing for the day. Back at the shop. Wendy's going to show off what she found first. I did good. You I did found really a good. lot of good stuff. Okay, so this was a dollar. It's a giant sign that's going to go in our basement. Thor's hammer for a dollar. Also got an army helmet for the dress up spot. That's vintage, by the way. I didn't look at the maker on this. Oh, wait, the sticker just fell out. Ooh, this is an old Mark's Toys helmet. So do you need that it? That could have some value. But this just fell off. Well, there goes all the value. <laughs> then we're going to Great Wolf Lodge for the first time, and I saw these, and we're gonna get the kids excited about that trip. Everything was just like really cheap. This is like four sticker books for 25 cents. Darcy had just grown out of her bell dress, so we found the next size for $5 with the gloves. And I said at the beginning, I wanted stuff for our Disney trip, and I found it needs cleaned up, but 50 cents Elsa ears that she can wear. Also found John's satchel. So we're Disney bounding, which is where you dress up as like characters, but not as the characters because you're not allowed to as grownups. But he's going to be Flynn Rider from Tangled and I'm going to be Rapunzel. And so he's going to carry the- Man bag. Well, no, the crown. The purse. You can no, you carry the crown in the bag. Yeah. And so he's going to be walking around with the purse. Yeah. Got some made gloves because Candace is putting on a mystery dinner, murder mystery dinner, and these will work for that. $10 cast iron. I thought it was brand new, but they tricked us because she said Ooh, we used it. Tricky. It looks pretty clean though. It's still pretty clean, um, but got that. And then I was excited to find this because there's actually some value with Liz the Lizard from Magic School Bus. Vintage, from, 90s. Vintage, yep, 97. Maybe not like, it's not a great find, but I'd say 25 bucks. Still pretty cool. And brand new earrings. I and did freaking awesome. You did great. Don't forget about your bird bath oh, back yeah, here. Oh, yeah, bird bath. Yeah, I got a bird bath. I got it strapped in. Strapped in for safety. One dollar. Can't One beat it. One freaking dollar. It was a great day. All right, guys, here's everything I found. It's kind of scattered all over the place. Got this ceiling fan for $10. They said they never used it, new in the box. And I've sold some of these before and you can usually get about 40, 50 bucks. Just depends, you know, the brand and model and all that, but it looks like a pretty nice one. I got these John Deere boots, size 16. So they might be a hard sell, uh, but they retail new for a couple hundred bucks and they've got the tags and everything. He wanted 40 bucks for them, but I bundled in with some other stuff. So I've maybe got 30 bucks into them. Hopefully I can get around a hundred. 
Let's see, in this bag, we got a couple hats. The 1990 Cincinnati Reds World Champions hat for 50 cents. I thought that was really cool. Here is a John Deere hat, and it is by K Products. You can see K Products right there. Keep an eye out for that brand, guys, because they resell really well. This one, I saw comps around 40 bucks. A couple more things I got at that sale, two belt buckles. This one is Colt Army 44 caliber pistol. Thought that was pretty neat. And this is a train. Those are both $3. And I got this antique cherry pitter for five bucks. Got a sweater at one sale for 10 bucks, which is a lot to pay for a sweater. But I do think there's some money to be made. The brand is Cotton Traders. And it looks like the Kooji sweaters. I don't know if you guys know about Kooji, uh, C O O G I, but those can sell for hundreds. This one I saw selling for around 40 or 50 bucks. Got a Pokemon Monopoly game for four bucks. Looks like used, it's selling for about 20. I got a really cool vintage Misfits poster for $2. They had a lot of awesome artwork from their son there. Uh, this one, though, he didn't draw. This is an original Misfits poster. Die Die, my darling. Got a couple little tears and like condition issues there, but not too bad. For $2, couldn't pass it up. Got this vintage Mattel Tough Stuff fire truck. You can see the lady had originally priced this at $40 and then it came down to $20 and then she sold it for $10. I tried looking up comps, couldn't find anything, uh, but it is a little bit older. I think it said 1979. Picked up this Budweiser mirror for five bucks. I got a couple things at that one sale that I bundled with the boots. We've got a Sir Duncan spinning top, new in the packaging. I don't see a year on this. If I had to guess, I'd say 70s. Then I got what appears to be an empty bottle of Cartier. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I just thought that was cool. Sometimes these uh, bottles from expensive perfumes can be collectible. And this vintage... Texaco Fire Chief Helmet by the Park Plastics Company. He had 35 on it, um, and I bundled and got the boots a little bit cheaper, so I might have paid too much for this. I saw sold comps around 50 to 60. I'm not sure if the bell works. If this bell works, that could add to the value, but it looks really clean inside and everything. Just a cool piece. Picked up a lot of hats today. I got a couple tall stacks hats. This was a festival in Cincinnati down by the riverboats where they'd have like blues music and all kinds of fun stuff. That one was a dollar from 99. This one I paid up for, it's from 1995. It has that cool like all over print. I paid five bucks for it. It might sell for 25 or 30. It probably will take a long time because it's a specific market I'm looking for there. These three I got for 50 cents. We got a Wilson Combat hat, Hale's Grocery, um, ABWA, I'm not even sure what that is, but it was by K Products, so I picked it up. This hat right here, Whitney actually found, really cool look to it. That's by Trail Ridge, we paid $3 for that, and we got a bowling pin at that sale for two bucks. And last things I wanna show you guys, I got these two Halloween blow molds for $2 each. This is by Union Products from 1995, and this one is from, let's see, what does it say? General foam plastics, I don't see a year. And there's like rocks in both of them, which, you know, can do some damage. Like this one back here, you can see there's a little bit of damage right there, maybe from the rocks rolling around. Uh, but these plug in and light up. These things sell really good. This one, I saw a sold comp of $140. Didn't see the exact comp of this one, but it's probably worth 75 to 100, maybe a little bit more. I don't think I want to ship those because shipping can be outrageous with that stuff. I think I'm just going to flip them local. So if you guys see blow molds, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, whatever, and they're cheap, just pick them up because even if you don't want to pack them and ship them out, you can sell them local. I've done really well selling these local before. I think I'm going to list the pair on Facebook Marketplace for 100 bucks. See if I got any tickers. All right, Whitney took my car. She went back home. I'm going to get some stuff done here and then she's going to pick me back up and we're going to get some lunch. Ready to get some lunch? Ready. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.